You know, many times we say that I want to do this, I want to do this, but we do not move to the action stage where we start to take real action. We tend to be paralyzed by analysis. We are looking for more information, looking for the perfect time and that kind of thing. And it hinders our ability to take action. Have you ever wondered why some very educated people appear to earn far much less than those who have high education? Many times it has to do with the fact that in reality, in the real world, people are paid for what they do. We are paid for the service we deliver, the value you add. So no matter how much you know, if you do not use it to deliver service to someone, then you will be earning less than what you know. So for as long as you have higher knowledge or that you have learned something new and you do not use it, then it does not add value to anyone else. It stays stored in your mind and does not deliver value. And for that reason, no one will pay for it. The word action is in the word satisfaction. Can you imagine satisfaction without the action? So action generates satisfaction. Many times we avoid taking action because we fear failure. We are not sure how things will pan out. We are waiting for things to be aligned, everything to be available. We don't know how much we are going to need in terms of resources. And so we struggle to get into action. Successful people tend to take action more and tend to minimize over analyzing. While they take very serious um, focus on due diligence, once they identify the areas to measure to assess, they do that and then they immediately take the thing that they want to do, break it down into action steps, and then they start taking the first action. The action you take, that which people are willing to pay for, can be a service in any form. It can be doctors are paid to treat the sick. Cleaners are paid for cleaning up. Teachers are paid for teaching. Engineers are paid for designing and sometimes producing something. In other words, you must do something that produces value for the other party for you to be worthy of payment. And so the action part of every aspect of knowledge is critical. And of course, the people who manage people are paid even more. They are paid more because they are able to get others to produce more. So by being able to motivate and influence others to work and produce greater value, then the manager is seen as having added greater value. And that's why they are paid more. So basically, let's go back to this question of taking action and look at the challenges that we need to overcome. Number one is analysis paralysis. The one reason why many times we fail to take action is actually that we are overanalyzing the situation, we are overthinking the situation, and we become paralyzed by that analysis. The more you look, the more you find, the more you want to know and all that, and then it starts to become very difficult because you are paralyzed in fear by the many things you are looking into. The important thing is to find the things that you need to understand about this issue, focus on them, unravel whatever you need, and then if you decide that that's the direction you want to go, take the first step and it will help you build momentum as you go along. The important thing about taking the first step is that once you get in, you start to find that there is feedback, other people come in to support you, people start asking you questions, providing you more information, and things become more clear than when you were just analyzing in theory. Before I started my business, I used to talk a lot about, oh, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to start a business and the like. And I had this lady who was like my business mentor. She's the one who was encouraging me about going into business. And uh, every time we'd meet, she'd ask me, how far are you now? Have you started the business yet? I say, not yet. I am doing this and that, or I'm looking into this, or I'm looking into this. And then one day when we met, she asked me what exactly is a hindrance. I said, I'm looking for an office. And she told me, let's meet tomorrow morning at this building. I'll give you an office and then you can get started. We met in the morning and because her business was in manufacturing, 
She said that it was a bit noisy and therefore she could not give me an office in her office. So she took me to her husband's office and actually pleaded with him to give me an office that was not being used and which she said she knew would not be used for a long time and to allow me to set up my business from there. Then she talked to one of the assistants and asked her to assist me as I set up my business. Let me tell you, that is where I started my business. But the reality is that as I started now in that office, I immediately started to get momentum. I started to find solutions. I started to find answers to the questions. Everything started to become clear. And that is how my business took off. And to this day, I cannot say I've ever looked back. I faced many challenges, but the challenges bring the solutions. As they say, necessity is the mother of invention. When you have a challenge, you actually tend to go out and look for the solution. As Tony Robinson says, success leaves clues. So you can look at someone who has done it before and you learn from them. By learning how they solve the problem, you get to solve yours in a similar manner. Number two, don't wait for perfection. Don't wait for things to be totally aligned. That will not happen. Actually, there is no situation where one gets complete perfection. You always have to go with less information, less resources than you would desire. But you have to start from where you are and keep moving and keep finding other things that you need, the resources that you need as you go along. There will be no perfect time when to get started. You have to take action and then things start to shape up as you go. You will find encouragers, you will find people to motivate you, you will find people to support you when you get started, when you take action. The other day I was interviewing this lady who has written a book and uh, she was telling me about how she experienced her journey to motherhood and how she had so many theories about how to take care of a baby or how the baby will behave. And then when she did get her own baby, nothing went according to plan. The baby had their own plans and she discovered that the theory and the practice are different. So practice, action changes everything. And everything clarified and she's become now expert at handling that particular baby because babies are also different. Number three, you have to break up your goal into small mini goals or steps so that it becomes easier. You break it into bite-sized actions so that you can be able to take one step at a time and learn as you go and then take the next step and the next step and build momentum to achieve the great results that you desire. So if you've been planning to do something and it has taken time for you to get started, just break it into small steps and take the first step. As you take the first step, you start to generate momentum and it will take you to the next step and the next step. It's like how you start driving. You want to go to a city 100 kilometers from here. Let's say you want to go to Mombasa. You start by taking just a few steps, a few miles, a few kilometers each time. And if it's at night, the lights can only see a short distance. But as you continue your journey, the lights continue to unfold and to unfold and to unfold until you get to your destination. It's a similar thing. So the value, the premium of taking action is greatly valued. And that's why you find that many times people are willing to pay more for somebody who will take action than someone who will just talk and talk but not be able to take the necessary actions to achieve the desired objective. So go out and confidently take action. Start that thing you've been planning. Take the first step and you see where it takes you. It was Abraham Lincoln who said, good things come to those who wait, but only what is left by those who take action. He said, by those who hustle. So good things come to those who wait, but only what is left by those who hustle. So get out and take action to get your things done. Thank you for watching this video. Give your comments below so that I know what you think. We all need to elevate our mindsets at this time. Thank you and best wishes.